Richard Carey and my dissertation research was on evaluating various land use influences affecting nutrient water quality in the Biscayne Bay watershed and in the watershed you have numerous canals, drainage canals through the watershed such as this one right here we're standing by C102 and you have various land use influences affecting water quality in the canals and here we have an example we have the agricultural land use over here to the left you can see and also we have some residential areas over here so my research looked on different types of land uses residential agricultural and so forth and their influences on water quality specifically nitrogen and phosphorus the overall goal was to identify the significant land use influences identify the different types of spatial patterns spatial arrangements that could potentially influence water quality i use various land use uh, various land use indexes as well as uh, water quality methods water quality analytical methods to evaluate these relationships and in my study i found out that the predominant influence on nitrate nitrogen in the watershed was agriculturally based and this could be remedied by focusing on more irrigation BMPs best management practices within the watershed uh, total phosphorus the residential patterns in the watershed were important factors specifically within close proximity to the canal areas and overall my research identified various hot spots or monitoring sites throughout the watershed that could potentially influence Biscayne Bay. The Biscayne Bay watershed is located in South Florida and uh, right now I'm at the Biscayne National Park, federally protected. You can see in the background this is Biscayne Bay. And in the watershed overall you have both extensive agricultural development as well as extensive urban development so these are two influences that you have to account for to identify different types of relationships going on in the watershed and overall my research results can be used to aid watershed management decisions to improve water quality within the watershed in the canals as well as going out towards the bay as you can see here